Okay. Alright. I am back on comms. Here we go. So it looks like we have Kairos versus Razo next on stream. This is going to be winner's semis. Yo, King, are you here? No. no. <laughs> uh, Cyro, do you want to commentate? Uh, right. HLB, do you want to commentate? Catch up. No. Fox, do you want to commentate? <laughs> Uh, okay, solo commentary it is. Unless, let's catch up, catch up. Come on. Uh, yo, Pekka, if, if you can get on a uh, voice chat, yeah, why not? Uh, here we go. I mean, this is gonna be a, a very interesting battle. We've already seen what Kairos can do under a ten for situation, but. You know what? It's going to be one of those situations where, here we go, Razo just opening up a wall of bare pain and Kairos just can't seem to find his way in. Alright. Here we go. It's the grab into Nair Tech Chase, into a re-grab, here we go. Oh my god, and he catches the turn of two so he doesn't get any more damage onto him. And wow, just a quick roar bear from Razo just catching Kairos off guard. And there's the Saturn. It would not be a Razo set if he did not pull out some sort of jank. No, I know both of these players super keen at, you know, being adept at using item plays. So it's going to be really interesting to see, though, if the Saturn comes into play at all. Oh, nope, just, just toss it off stage, yeah. Get it, get it out of here. All right. A B sent him off. Here we go. Into a dare! And that was a clean combo from Kairos right there. Alright. Just there in the up air. Right. You know what? It's just a wall of projectiles coming out from Razo right here. Or not Razo, like an airman thing. Yeah. I mean, these players are just swinging back and forth out of each other. Kairos hoping that the boomerang could combo into the down tilt, potentially for an up air for an early kill, but not going to be able to get it. Here we go, and you know, Razo just throwing out his wall of pain with the bear, but you know, Kairos is barely out of range. Oh, I love that! It looks like he wall jumped to get the beer versus neutral bee to get back on the stage. I like that movement. Alright. Yeah, Razo just trying to scope out a bear, hoping he pulls in. But Kairos is just sitting back, sitting pretty, feeling content to throw all the boomerangs and arrows he needs to force Razo to approach. Here we go, there's one boomerang, and he spot dodges! He thought it would connect, but the down tilt up air will connect right there. You know, and now Razo has to approach at this point. Oh, that was bad, he gets punished for it. Avoids the turn for it again. Alright. Go. All right, here we go. Fair cleans him out. Not gonna be quite enough, but gets the turnip. That should be game. Yeah. For the dog and the second turnip, just for good measure. All right, quick there is gonna get punished, but doesn't get too hardly punished for it. Just a quick bear out of shield. Now Rob's shield is low. He has to worry about getting poked. Trying going for the bear. Avoid this down tilt to get a down tilt of his own. Almost dying for that too. There you go. Quick bear into up smash. Not going to be quite enough, but you know what? That's solid damage right there. All right. There you go. There's another Nair. Throws him off stage. All right. 
Careful, not gonna do it. Gets the bear in the dash attack. Not gonna be quite enough. Gets the up B. No, it's not enough. He's not at a high enough percent for that to kill. But that was such a good call out from Ronzo. It looks like he swung the momentum into his favor just a little bit. But is that bear gonna do it? Oh, that bear is totally gonna do it. What am I saying? Good lord. Roz Razo, no, starting to make a comeback at the end, but unfortunately a little bit too little too late in this that scenario. Good lord. Alright. There we go. Now the counter pick. This is super important. I mean, running, running it back to Stadium. Okay, I respect that. And here we go, going to game two. Both players starting out, and each just going right to their projectiles. And I like that, using the boomerang to catch a potential jump from ledge, but Raza just floating right around it. Alright, there's a snare combo. Designs space with the boomerang, and I like that. And almost getting punished with the dare, but not going to be quite able to get there in time. Gets the air dodge, gets hit by the bear. Can he get the turnip? No, he doesn't. But he gets the counter instead, and that'll do it. Yeah, just the, the drop-off counter right there. All right, here we go. Oh, and a quick dare. Not going to be enough, though. Not enough rage. Oh, and I like that, you know, just so much shield pressure that Razo has to respect because it's Young Link. Oh, the boomer Boomerang might have actually saved him right there just a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Alright. And Wake Fair will catch the jump right there. Fair misses, so he gets upbeat for his. Oh, there we go. Tries fairing, doesn't get hit by the boomer, by the by the arrow. My bad, but you know, still managed to get hit by the upbeat. That's the word. All right, fair walls him out. Both players are just kind of zoning out with their projectiles, hoping that one of them drops their guard first. Alright. Here we go. Quick bear gets him out. Alright. Bear knocks him off stage. Ear dodges. Which manages to avoid everything. He still gets him by the turn. And he pulls out a bomb, and the bomb will do it. Oh no. No, that that is full. Oh, okay, this is bad. Why did he drop it? He also dropped that combo? What? Go. All right, there's an air, catches them off guard. Bear to send him off stage. Here we go. Yeah, just immediately retreating, knowing that like has such strong hitboxes up close, like that dare. All right. Landing. No, uses a double jump to avoid the turn up. Here we go, uh, Young Link. Trying to punish the bear with an upbeat. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too late. All right, here we go. Yeah, Rosal's just trying to scope out a jump, but just doesn't find it. He just finds all these projectiles in his face again. But Rosal's not in a position where he has to commit. He can force Kairos to eventually make a move. Like that grab, that's gonna get punished. And up air will beat out that down air. Just barely, wow. I mean, that, that is how you know, like, yeah, my up air is disjointed where it beats your sword. That, that, that's insane on Rajo for going for that. Alright, it is 1-1. One one. I wonder if we're just going to have a full straight set of, of this of the stadium. Here we go.
Kyle is really thinking about this counter pick right here. I wonder if he's gonna pull out the Violet. Maybe that's what he's thinking about. Nah, nah, yeah. Good, good, good on you, Kyro. Don't, don't go for the Violet. Do not go for the Violet. Not yet, at the very least. It's good. It's not that good yet. Alright. So going for a hard read with that S smash, and he's gonna get super punished for that. Eating 60% for that one failed read. And I love that, going off stage to avoid any potential grab attempts or any, like, aggression. Right. Wow, that had, like, no end lag to it, so Rosal was able to just punish him, and he just calls out the double jump with the fair! Rosal takes a commanding lead this game three. Oh, and the bomb, or the boomerang to the arrow to the dare, almost going to do it, but not quite. And he just ladders him with all these arrows. Oh, and I like that. No, Razo doesn't drop his shield, but it's all the shield pressure right there. There we go. Dash attack not going to be able to quite do it. There's another dash attack. Up smash, that'll do it. There you go. And Kairos, even though he took a very, very commanding lead, at, or he, he lost a very, very strong lead, well, he has made it back, and now he's in the position of being the aggressor. Oh, lord. Yeah. There we go. Down throw, Nair gets him off stage. And using the the wall jump to, you know, make his uh, arrow movement a little bit tricky. Catches the bear out of shield, going for the grab, but doesn't find it. Gets a clean down smash right there. Oh, wow, the boomerang catches the landing right there. And fair almost being pertinent for Rosa right there, but just being a little bit too late on it. Yeah. And both players are just insane right now. go there cleans him out is this gonna be it no it doesn't get the turn up in time for the game but gets hit by the boomerang now combo to the up air you know kairos has taken the lead all right catches the air dodge gets another bear and trying to follow it up with the boomerang hoping for another air dodge read doesn't find it but it's just so scary gets the bear not gonna be quite enough to kill though and i love that just barely double jumping to avoid it and using the boomerang to squat out the tournament before it can get to him. That bear is not going to do it. He has a double jump though, and wow, just saving all his resources for the critical moment to avoid the edge guard. All right, there's the up speed to up air. There we go. That's clean percent. All right, all right. Young Link gets a nice little combo. Can he clean out the stock before Rosa takes him? Wow. There we go, Fair, not gonna be able to do it at 180. It's not enough damage, and... Oh my god, he uses the bomb, and it had so much knockback that it was able to bring him all the way back up to state. That Fair will do it, though. But 117%, I mean, Ronzo needs an insane combo starter, and if I say he needs it, he's gonna get it! Oh no, just barely drops it at the end, though. There we go, Fair, we'll catch a jump, and that will be game three for, Ro for Kairos. <laughs> I feel like DPS is something if, like, because in Smash, right, all combos, like, have a certain limit, right? Like, they're, you can't take a combo to infinity. They usually patch those out, right? And... It's not so much how quickly you can do damage, but like how consistently can you do it? Like if you if you can get like Razo, who can do consistent zero to sixty, that's insane, right? But if you can only do that one and out of every three grab attempts, like is it really high DPS? 
on some times, yes it is. On other times, no. And so I guess combos is just the better term for DPS. Like, is your combo game insane? And the not better your combo game, the more insane it is. over all these projectiles trying to find his way in he knows he can kill kairos at this percent he just needs to find his answer but you know what you can't hold shield forever he gets hit by the bear is that gonna be it oh there it is that bear will do it yeah rosa's just so good at weaving in and out of kairos's space but kairos is just as adept at finding his one hit kill options that one hit bear and up smash will take out the stock now we are back to even stocks for this second stock right here Alright, there's the uppie, back air, and I like that, he goes for the back air because back air puts him in a better position to get more follow-up afterwards rather than the damage of up air. Plus it doesn't sail up air as much. Alright, hit the grab, here we go, try and go for the tech chase but doesn't find it in time. Alright. There we go. And I like that. Rosa just staying in shield a little bit, waiting for Kairos to pull that in first. Oh, all this damage coming out like from both players. They're just swinging and hoping their one hit connects. And as Mr. Saturn lived, and he died immediately. Like that wasn't even a throne. Rosa just dropped it. I'm pretty sure that makes it that Rosal has pulled out something every game. Because he pulled out two Saturns and a Bomb off so far. Alright, there we go. And you know what? Kairos is just sitting back being like, I don't have to approach. There we go. I love that, using the Nair to swat out the turnip. Kairos just being like, I have the corner, you have to approach me, and because I know I can get a kill off of one of these boomerangs, I just need one of them to hit. There we go. I mean, people complain that Belmont spam projectiles. No, no, this is the projectile spamming character right here. Is that gonna be no doesn't find a punish in time there we go gets a boomerang gets another boomerang low can he get the follow-up no and kairos is just slowly smothering out rosa right here rosa can't find his way in and all this damage is racking up is this gonna be it no oh but he gets it that time but he doesn't connect the last hit here we go i mean rosa just barely makes it by by the skin of his teeth Goes. Kairos almost has it. He just needs one hit. But the fair will beat out both the boomerang and the arrow. Oh, he gets the parry, but still not enough. Alright. Fair. Not even going to do it at 170%. That was immaculate di, di from uh, Kairos' part. Also, just struggling to find his way in. Finally, gets the fair. But is it too little, too late? Oh, there we it. The last hit of fair will connect it for the game. And there we go. Cairo takes it 3 1 over Razo. Alright, now we have HLB versus Ketchup. 